and hello everyone, I'm Coral and I'm back to talk pot news with all of you world reefers. I've been posting cannabis news stories on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.com slash Newsnug. And yesterday, I asked for votes to decide which Newsnug story was the top story of the week. And for the first time ever, there was a three-way tie for second place. It's never happened before. But there was a clear winner thanks to so many comments on Instagram. And I really want to mention that to you guys because your input can help decide what story I'll cover next week. So you can always vote on every single network if you've added me there. And it really can make a big difference in a swing of which story I'm going to talk about in that video. So the top story of this week is about Roar, a German bong manufacturer who also has American licensees suing over fake roars being distributed in three states. If you've walked into a head shop in the United States, you've likely seen fake roars and fake numbers of other brands, bongs, sitting on the shelf. How have they been getting away with this? Trademarks are very difficult to obtain in this space because marijuana and the tools used to smoke marijuana are still federally illegal, so they can't technically be trademarked for their purpose. To get some protection for their name, some companies choose to trademark their products as tobacco use products. The lawsuits filed by Roar's lawyers claim that head shops in Florida, New York, and California have been selling smoking utensils, bongs, under the name Roar, but they've been cheaper, manufactured in other places, and have nothing to do with the original brand. To protect their name, however, Roar may have to prove that they've never gone after cannabis consumers and that they are as intended for tobacco use only. That could be difficult to prove as the article points out because they have entered and won a number of cannabis cups thrown by High Times Magazine. So far, many of the shop owners have also not wanted to discuss the finer details of the products they're selling in court. So they've actually settled for, it looks like around between twelve dollars and $16,000 when trademark infringements could cost up to $150,000. While they haven't needed to yet, Roar has said that they'd be willing to go to court to protect their trademark, so I wonder if the settlements are really coming from the shops who aren't wanting to go in front of a judge and talk about their business. Selling knockoff products with the Roar name on them can damage the reputation of the Roar brand. These knockoff products are often very, very cheap. You don't know where they're produced. You don't know the safety standards for those employees and you don't know the cleanliness of the product that you're receiving. I've spoken on my channel in the past about the value of going to the original source, going to the creator of an idea or a locally made item. When you go to the knockoff, you are throwing away all of the time and money that the original inventor invested into the product that you love. So show support and in my opinion, support the original, support Roar. Now when it comes to whether a $400 bong is worth it at all, I love the excerpt from Steve Bloom comparing water pipes and bongs to stereo equipment. Some people will say you really can't tell a difference between two brands and others will swear that they can absolutely tell the difference. For me, it all comes down to supporting the person who had the idea, supporting the company that invested the time into the research and developing that product, and it's really interesting to see what happens with these lawsuits because cannabis does walk that gray area right now in the United States of legal but not quite protected in so many ways. So the cannabis-related products are also under fire. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of News Nug. If you stayed all the way till the end, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend today, and I will see you guys next week. Stay informed and stay high, you guys. Now some super observant reefers might be asking why am I not hitting my Roar in this video and I have to confess, we broke the down stem recently. So I do have a lot of love for Roar. The Roar bong I have is an original, it's amazing, it's such a good piece and unfortunately the down stem is broken right now. So my bad. Thanks for watching guys.